Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to talk about polynomials. Polynomials are terms that are hitched together, if you will, by plus signs. These are terms. 2m to the 8th is a term. Negative 8m to the 4th is a term. 7m to the 9th is a term and negative 4m to the 7th is a term. But where are all the plus signs? They're invisible. They're right here, and right here, and right here. OK, so once you insert the invisible plus signs, and put parentheses around the numbers, we're, we're going to talk about the numbers in a minute, you can see clearly that you have four terms. And now I've colored the numbers blue because they're very special. They have a name. They are coefficients. 2 is the coefficient of m to the 8th. Negative 8 is the coefficient of m to the 4th. 7 is the coefficient of m to the ninth, And negative 4 is the coefficient of m to the 7th. Now, notice I could have said m to the 7th power, m to the ninth power, and so on. But it's enough just to say, oh, m to the 7th. OK, now look at the, at the uh, exponent on each term. That tells you what the degree of the term is. The degree of this term is 8. The degree of this term is 4. The degree of this term is 9. And the degree of this term is 7. Now, we always, or almost always, write polynomials in descending order of powers of degrees. So since degree 9 is higher than degree 8, and degree 8 is higher than degree 7, and degree 7 is higher than degree 4, I'm going to rewrite these terms in this order. And now we have 7m to the 9th plus 2m to the 8th plus negative 4 m to the 7th plus negative 8 m to the 4th. Now the highest degree term is called the leading term. So 7 m to the 9th power is the leading term. The coefficient of the leading term is called the leading coefficient. So 7 is the leading coefficient. And the polynomial, this polynomial, which is what this is, polynomial of four terms, we would say that even though each term has its own degree, the degree of the polynomial as a whole is 9, the highest power. Vocabulary is not always important, but in this case, when you're dealing with polynomials, I'm afraid it is. OK. When you have one term standing alone, like 3x squared, this is a monomial. It's one term. When you have two terms connected with a plus sign, you have a binomial. By means 2. When you have three terms connected together with plus signs, you have a polynomial that's called a trinomial. All right, so we have monomials, we have binomials, trinomials. If we have four or more terms, we don't have a special name for it at all. OK, now let's talk about the name of degrees. First, here might be a surprise.
plain numbers that we call constants are actually coefficients of variables to the zero power. So this 2 can also be written as 2 times x to the zero power because anything to the zero power is just 1. All right, any term, uh, any, any, yeah, any term whose degree is zero is called a constant. Constants all have degree zero. Now, this is 2x to the 1. x to the 1 is just x, so it's 2x. This term has degree 1, so it's called linear. This term has degree 2. It's called quadratic. This term has degree 3. It's called cubic. This term has degree 4. It's called quartic. Polynomials of degree 5, 6, 7, or higher are just called polynomials. They don't have a special name. Okay, let's talk about like terms. Terms are like terms if they're, well, alike. So for instance, if you have 3x plus 2y minus 1x, I can combine the 3x and the minus 1x because they're like terms. The value of knowing where the secret plus signs are is that once you have terms that are added, you can move them around, and it's OK. So I'll have 3x plus negative 1x plus 2y. 3x plus negative 1x, well, 3 plus negative 1 is 2. So that's going to give me 2x. We don't multiply the letters or add them separately. They're all part of the same term. I have an x term. I have 3 of an x. I have a negative 1 of an x. When I add these together, I have 2 of an x. Meanwhile, the 2y cannot combine with the x terms because it's got a different letter. Now, here's a surprise. If I have 3x squared plus 2x, I cannot combine those terms. This is linear. This is quadratic. They're two entirely different kinds of terms, and I cannot combine them. But if I were to come along and add a 5x squared, I would then have like terms. I would have two quadratic terms, and I could combine them. So I would have 3x squared plus 5x squared plus 2x. The 3x squared and the 5x squared would combine to give me 8x squared. In fact, you can think of it as I have three little x squares running around. And then suddenly five more run into the room. Now I've got how many x squares running around? Well, I've got eight little x squares running around. But oh, poor lonely little 2x is not an x square. So it can't play. That makes me feel sad. I think I'll change the subject. All right, we're going to start operating on polynomials, so I'm going to end this recording and say that I'll see you in a few minutes.